takes us to item 24, which is a report on the general fund reserves and designations. Mr. Alsop. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I'll have Ms. Martinez from the CAO's office handle this item. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the board. Hey. Again, good afternoon, Mr. Cher Mr. Chairman and members of the board. Uh, we want to take the opportunity to provide more detail in the designation and reserve information provided during the presentation of the 1920 preliminary budget. Currently, the general fund has 171 million in reserves and designation. The most significant change since your board approved the four-year mitigation plan in 2016 has been the increase to the retirement designation. This designation is used to mitigate the cost increases associated with changes in the assumed rate of return and other assumptions used to calculate the employer retirement costs, as well as a debt service for pension obligation bonds. Your board has been increasing and releasing this designation to cover pension costs for general fund departments and the fire fund. The designation of $33 million will be released to offset the departmental cost increases so departments do not have to absorb the cost through reductions or potential, potential layoffs. It is anticipated that this designation will be exhausted in fiscal year 21-22 when the 1995 pension obligation bonds are paid off. Of the 171 million, 65.2 million are associated with liabilities at Kerr Medical Center and cash flow for the Department of Human Services and other departments. If you recall, Kerr Medical posed significant challenges to the general fund for multiple years. Mid-year reductions to departments were implemented in order to cover 51.6 million deficit and general loan forgiveness for the Kerr Medical Center in fiscal year 13-14. Your board established, established this designation with one-time resources in fiscal year 1415 to pay for the disproportionate share hospital overpayments made to the medical center. Even though the hospital was transferred to the hospital authority, the county is contractually and legally obligated to pay the dish liabilities incurred prior to the transfer, currently estimated at 33.8 million. The set aside of these funds is intended to minimize potential future budgetary impasse, impacts to county departments due to this liability. The remaining designation in this category is not available for spending since the cash associated with it is used to cover cash advances mainly to the Department of Human Services um, and also other departments. These advances fluctuate daily and can go as high as $32 million. The general purpose reserve of $40 million was established as the minimum amount needed for a governmental entity of our size to respond to unexpected budgetary issues and afford for a buffet against other risks such as extreme events like the recent earthquakes. The designation for infrastructure and capital improvements includes $5 million for the replacement of the 40-year-old 40, 40 financial system. Your board approved the replacement of the system last fiscal year. The designation also includes $3 million set aside for parks improvements. The remaining funds will be used for future projects, including the potential replacement of the public safety countywide communication 911 system. Uh, your board has also established several economic opportunity areas throughout the county. The $3.9 million under the economic development and quality of life designations include the property tax revenue that has been diverted for those potential improvement in those areas. Other designations include the required tax, liability, tax litigation reserve associated with the 32.8 million contingency tax liability and the designation required under a mitigation agreement for road improvements. In addition, 4.6 million in jail operations remains in this category. As we noted in the report, your board has been prudently prepared the county for future financial challenges while following the four-year mitigation plan. It is important to maintain this course of action until the end of the plan to ensure that the county can weather future challenges. This concludes my prepared remarks. The recommended action for your board is to receive on file, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Is there any public comment on this item? So you now return to the board for questions, comments, and action. Recommended action is just to receive and file, correct? Okay. <clears throat> Supervisor Maggard. Thank you. I'd like to stay, thank staff for their report and uh, motion that we receive and file. Second. Second. 
You have a motion to second. Please cast your votes. The motion is approved. All ayes. Thank you, Ms. Martinez.